Morning at NTV. All right, welcome back. Let's now go into a business update, how businesses are adopting to AI. And this is the theme of uh, the Monitor uh, Thought Leaders Forum that will be held uh, tomorrow. Let me just go to the Daily Monitor here and uh, be abreast. Of course, as I look at some of the wonderful panelists who will be uh, helping us understand exactly the impact and disruptions of artificial intelligence in Africa, is AI a friend? or a for that conversation is being brought forward here on morning at ntv and of course uh, i'm joined on site by uh, uh, peter mogeni he's the head of uh, data analytics at uh, dfcu bank later we expect to speak to victor karamaji a senior public relations officer at uh, national social security fund for the same perspective but let's begin with uh, mr uh, mogeni welcome to the program thank you how are you doing Doing very well, thank you. Uh, from uh, DFCU Bank, mm -hmm. the ever-evolving landscape of banking systems mm -hmm. are becoming more automated than yeah. ever before, and uh, DFCU has shown that it's one of those that are exceedingly doing well in this particular area. How are you leveraging AI? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a very good question. Mm. The whole scope of uh, AI is something that has really caught the global scene. Um, of course, not by surprise. Mm. Um, there's been a lot of advances. Uh, we like to say we are now in the fourth industrial revolution, or That's right. some like to call it uh, 4IR. Mm. And um, it's really uh, y one of the, the, the heads or the f uh, uh, chairman of the World Econo Economic Forum, mm. uh, Klaus, um, says, you know, this is a time of great potential or mm. great peril. That's yeah? right. Of course, as a bank, um, one of the critical things for us is to leverage on those opportunities that AI presents. That's right. We are not different from any organization, uh, but the approach that we have taken is really anchored on what our purpose is yeah. around uh, transforming lives and businesses in Uganda. So thinking about how we do that with AI, yeah. we literally get that purpose and think about the different initiatives that we would be able to implement uh, uh, with AI. That's For right. example, we have to think about the three, uh, we have to think about it in uh, threefold, uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the people, in terms of the processes, mm -hmm. in terms of the systems. I'll give an example for the people, uh, when you're thinking AI, um, what's very critical is the, the type of resources, or the mm -hmm. resources that you have. Uh, identifying talent, people that are brilliant, that are teachable, that are able to um, implement all these different initiatives. Uh, we think about upscaling and rescaling our, our staff mm -hmm. um, to prepare them for what uh, the opportunities that AI would present. That's right. Um, beyond that, of course, there's the, I talked about the people, the processes. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we're leveraging a lot on um, uh, intelligent automation mm -hmm. through robotic process automation or RPA. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing a lot in that space. We're also using a lot of machine learning uh, algorithms, building that mm -hmm. as well to give us a, a, a very good sense of who our customer. Mm -hmm. We can't transform lives without actually understanding who uh, these who customers, are. The customers yeah. are. Okay. So that's part of what we're doing. Mm. Of course, we shall be looking forward to hearing from uh, Mr. Ronald uh, Quilingera, yes. he's the head of product development and, and innovation. Uh, innovation at uh, DFCU Bank. He's one of the panelists and uh, of course, uh, we shall be hearing from him uh, tomorrow. But in light of uh, mm. AI driven efficiency mm -hmm. and uh, workforce skill, job preservation. The fears are enormous, especially yeah. when you meet people who have not uh, delved or rather who have not uh, taken on IT as their yeah, line yeah. of, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. professional work. They are fearing and they're like, hey, is this an attempt if we are told to upgrade? <laughs> shall we upgrade within time yeah. uh, to be able to survive? Yeah. Uh, in other words, to preserve our jobs. Yeah. Because right now many employers are looking for people who hit the ground running yeah now if you have a workforce that hasn't been uh, uh, totally abreast with the technologies of the day before ai became the issue ict itself yeah. was and uh, there were there were drugs for mm -hmm. example in how mm -hmm. adoptive they became to ict mm -hmm. and now here there is 
AI, which appears to be a bigger monster <laughs> in the room. <laughs> How yeah. are they adopting? Are there particular yeah. programs that have been rolled out by the bank mm -hmm. in order for them to be, first and foremost, reassure them mm -hmm. as the transition happens? Yeah, very, very, uh, I think that's a very interesting uh, question. Mm. And I think it, it looks at uh, to, uh, a thing of perspective versus reality. Uh -huh. So when you tune into, you know, go to YouTube, uh, either or go to social media, that's right. you'll see a lot of uh, communication on how AI is taking jobs, uh -huh. how, uh, And you it know, seems to be targeted information. It's targeted, <laughs> it's exactly, you know. Uh, it, it, of course, the media is very uh, intentional about uh, specific audiences. Mm. But I think uh, if you look at DFCU, um, one of the things that we've done is uh, to critically think about the mindset mm. uh, of our people. We want to create a culture where people are... Um, one, they appreciate technology. Mm -hmm. They see technology as a friend and mm -hmm. not an enemy. Not an enemy. Yeah. Uh, technology is meant to facilitate or make, uh, enable us to be able to work more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And so, um, to be able to, uh, you know, um, address that issue because it's, it is a valid concern. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had scenarios where people will outrightly tell you, "Hey, um, when you keep talking about this automation thing, mm -hmm. robotic process automation." I see that these things that I have been doing, I, if, the, if a robot is doing all these things, yeah. then what happens to my role? Mm. And I think the conversation then comes in right, the, right away to, yeah. to say that, look, we would like to repurpose, mm. um, uh, be able to empower staff, to be able to do other things that are uh, adding value. There's no reason why someone should do a lot of repetitive mm -hmm. and manual tasks, yet mm -hmm. those can be automated. Okay. So uh, it's really the assurance, and I think um, uh, our organization, again, highly driven by uh, our thought leader, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Charles Mudio, yeah. um, is really preaching the gospel of how automation is actually meant to remove inefficiencies, mm. to drive execution and make it much simpler and easier for us to be able to deliver mm. uh, our purpose. That's right. Yeah. Automation. Across Africa, uh, many mm. uh, people have spoken about delays in financial inclusion mm. as a mm -hmm. result mm -hmm. of uh, inability for technology to reach yes. or be tailored mm. uh, to meet the demands of uh, customers in far-flung areas. Mm -hmm. There are people who are still using the uh, feature typical, phone, as we call them. Know. <laughs> yeah, Kaviriti. Kaviriti, yes, yes. Yeah. They are depending on that SMS only. Yes. And then there is the whole new architecture that mm -hmm. offers those that have smartphones the opportunity to go ahead of the other ones. Yeah. Yet we need them to go at the same pace mm -hmm. if we are to truly be transformed. Mm -hmm. How does uh, DFCU approach this particular scenario? That's a good one. Um, so what we're doing in terms of financial inclusion we are one we are cognizant mm. that uh, when you when we are thinking of uh, you know rolling out our digital transformation strategy That's right. we will have a few uh, people actually which is not even a few people mm. it's actually the bulk the of, bulk of, of uh, people that are still using feature phones yeah. so what do we do we begin to innovate around creating uh, solutions that make it easier for them mm. to still be able to access uh, financial services. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is where the likes of uh, agent banking come in to mm. bring the bank closer to, um, to, to, to the customer, but also to make um, the process of onboarding, uh, mm. really pretty much joining the bank That's or right. opening an account uh, much easier for, for the customer. Mm. So by doing so, we make it um, we, we make the, the uh, accessibility to financial services uh, seamless. Okay. Yeah. All right. In the papers today, I hope mm. this is not a very uncomfortable question. In the papers today, mm. we have a story mm. uh, that uh, is around the fact that uh, some people are now unable, apparently, to access money. They can't make calls after their SIM cards were switched off because they are not verified. This is pretty much affecting banking and their yeah. ability to also affect transactions. Has DFCU 
addressed itself to this particular issue. Have you guys read the papers today? Because <laughs> many people are yeah. actually transacting yeah. and uh, agent backing is critical when yes. it comes to yes. either one yes. is verified or not. Yeah. How have you helped your customers deal with this particular challenge? So one of the things that um, uh, indeed, like you said, a very uh, critical step. Mm. Um, first of all, for us, a very big thing around getting uh, financial services right is mm -hmm. also knowing that you're dealing with the right individual. That's right. That um, ah, if I am transacting, yeah. that I am who I say I am. I am. Right? Mm -hmm. With, uh, and you know, we are living in times where people are genuinely very creative. I'm mm -hmm. sure you've either had prank calls of uh, how you've uh, won very often. a million yeah. shillings. And, and I like to have conversations with them so that <laughs> we can always teach other's time and money. <laughs> so you wonder where, where are they getting the contact, yeah. where are they doing this? So, of course, uh, nationwide, there's mm. initiatives that are like what you've just mentioned around ensuring that um, the right procedures are taken to be able to... Uh, uh, to address that issue. So as a bank, mm. we're working in collaboration with uh, the governing bodies to be able to, uh, to, be able to achieve that. Mm. Yes, there's a bit of disruption, but I think, uh, you know, the famous saying of things getting bad before they uh, get, better, get better, yes, mm. does you, apply. You need a crisis uh, to map ways for yeah. that are transformational. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Now, yeah. DFCU is uh, one of the sponsors and, uh, of course, uh, a key partners in the mm. Monitor Thought Leaders Forum that is on yeah. today. Just a reminder to those that are watching that this particular Thought Leaders Forum, it's mm. established itself as one of the platforms for leaders mm. in industry and of course uh, including captains themselves to be able to come and forge ways forward on those aspects within the economy or yeah. the world at large that are defining the new frontiers for business. AI is a new frontier for business but mm -hmm. it finds already established areas mm -hmm. that it can only improve. Yeah. If it weren't for AI, what are those frontier areas that bankers are looking at? Most importantly to ensure that mm -hmm. the unbanked come on board, mm -hmm. but also make the service of banking itself the best for the consumer out there? I mean, uh, look, um, we haven't run out of ideas. Uh -huh. If anything... Um, I like that. <laughs> yeah. No, if anything, every time... Uh, there's a Something. problem that is presented. That's right. Man always finds a creative mm -hmm. and ingenious mm -hmm. way of uh, solving that problem. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for AI, I'm sure what we'd probably be doing is going back into um, fields, getting agents, uh, uh -huh. people running here and there to ensure that we're still able to find ways of either registering customers, onboarding them, and all these different things. Coming up with uh, still leveraging on technology because te technology does still play mm -hmm. a part in the. In, in being able to facilitate that. So would still come up with a, a bunch of uh, ideas. Okay, many yeah. thanks. Peter Mugeni, Head of uh, Data Analytics, Analytics at uh, DFCU Bank. It's been a pleasure been having a pleasure. you on board. Thank you, sir. All right, we are unable to speak to Mr. Victor Karamaji from the National Social Security Fund. We wanted to understand particularly how this is going to be an issue, especially for those of us that put our money at NSSF, because it is important uh, to know exactly how best you can benefit. But